Hey guys, Tree5 here with episode 4. Patiently Waiting. Waiting Chronicles. What the hell did I name this podcast? Anyways, we're live. Here we go. It's not live, it's recording. But, you know, sounds better when you say live. Anyways, sorry for the podcast. So today, I was going to pull into the DMV for take care of some work business. Uh, so the, the DMV at our place, it's at a corner. It's at a corner, so there's either... So on one side, there's an exit, an entrance, and on the other side, there's both exit and entrance, and then at the end, it's an exit. So what does that mean? That means all the parkings and all the entrances and exits, except for this one right here, they're all one ways. So I'm on this lane, because that's the easiest one to enter. Nah, 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 and then trying to pull in. So I'm like halfway in. I just make sure no one's crossing the street. You know, I'm like, uh, usual routine. It's like my third time at this DMV. And that day, today, third time that day. Been there hundreds of times. So anyways, pull in, blah, 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 no one's crossing the street. No cars coming, blah, blah, blah. Come in. And then this full on this phone just comes the wrong way. So I'm pulling in. All the parkings are this way. I'm like, half, I have to stop halfway in the street. I'm like, what is, is this guy for real? Is he like really driving down this one way? And then he gets here. And then he's like looking to his left, looking to the right, ignoring me. I'm like halfway in the street. My friend tires are on the sidewalk. They're on the sidewalk. Like I'm trying to pull in. And this motherfucker is just going in. And I can't go in because it's one way. Most one ways, they're what? Like a car with, a car and a half with? Yeah, that's how, that's how wide it is, about a car and a half. That's how wide it is. So I can't go in. I can't go around. I'm like halfway in. Not even halfway in. I'm like a quarter in. The rest of the truck is on the street. Thankfully, no one's coming this way. And he fucking takes forever. He's all like right here. He stops. He completely ignores me. I'm like, uh, uh, I don't know how he got around me because I, I wasn't going to go in reverse. I'm like, if anything, he needs to go reverse all the way back because he's an idiot. But anyways, yeah, he was right there. And I'd see he was talking on his phone. He has the audacity to look left and right. Be like, oh, you know, I gotta look both ways before turning on the street. He obviously wasn't making a left because I was going, so the parking's this way. I was like right here and he was going, you know, the wrong way. So he was like right here. So obviously he wasn't gonna make a left. He was, there was no way he was gonna go around me or, or cut me off because there was no room. Like I said, it's a one way. But yeah, people can't drive. Get off your fucking phone. I mean, it's pretty obvious if like you can't park. In the parking spots to your left and right that it's a one way that's that should be a dead giveaway besides i don't know the giant arrows on the ground pointing where pointing which way you should be driving on but you know look at the look at the parking spots i mean all the parkings are so i'm going this way other parkings are for you to just pull in straight and just go they're like those diagonal parkings going this way i, mean, I don't know how it's coming out on the record i don't know if it's backwards or what but i'm just doing it to me you know so they're all like this so you know so you just pull in straight this guy like what you're gonna make a freaking use <sighs> that guy's retarded all right that guy's retarded so that's i wasn't even, i wasn't even mad i was just like more confused out of anything like well how do you not notice that it's a one way so you're probably wondering Lakers jersey right yeah lakers are playing right now but they're wearing the ugly blue the ugly blue, um, I don't know if you guys have seen them, and it says like M. They're playing fucking for some reason, the quality just went down, so I can't see the jersey. They're like MLPS, but they're like a powder blue, baby blue. They're losing right now, 45 51. Speaking of the NBA, Christmas, and the whole day was freaking NBA. Started off with I forgot, and I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, and I forgot, I forgot. But the memorable ones, oh, the, was it the Knicks and the Sixers? No, it was the Knicks. Who did the Knicks play? Knicks lost. That's all I know. I think it was the Sixers. How the Knicks lost? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the Sixers. I don't know who, who was good. Last time I heard about the Sixers was Allen Iverson. I don't know how long ago that was. You guys seen that video of Allen Iverson when he shot the three, made the three, the guy fell, and then he like stepped over the guy? Savage. Savage. What was that? Blah blah blah. Knicks lost. Sixers. Who played after that? Anyways, fuck the Warriors. Uh, yeah. Lake. 
All right, so like, look, look at this bullshit right here. So all the games on, on Christmas for the NBA, they were all on one channel. Like, we didn't change the channel the whole day. We were watching NBA the whole day. Except for this game. Except for them versus Jimmy Butler, who is the Timberwolves. Except for the Lakers and the Timberwolves. That's some bullshit. Why would you switch this to a different channel? Like, yeah, it was like all NBA teams. You know, the freaking Westbrook versus... Harden, you know, the Houston versus uh, uh, OKC. OKC won, by the way. That was a great game. Great game. Freaking Paul George and freaking Carmelo Anthony was on fire. I don't know if you guys heard about Carmelo Anthony. They're no longer releasing his signature shoes with Jordan. Yeah, I don't know if you guys knew Jordan and Carmelo Anthony. You know, Melo had his own signature line. Carmelo Anthony, not LaMelo. What's his name right? Ball? No. Lonzo, but oh, and then today, what's today? Wednesday, twenty-seven, whatever it is, twenty-seven. Everyone, you know, freaking Nike. Who's Adidas? Cause Kobe. Speaking of Nike, Nike released the uh, the late Kobe jersey, but it only released in certain retail stores, and it was like five hundred bucks. I didn't get it. Got this one for Christmas. Yeah, but. But yeah, Nike released, uh, I forgot, you know, uh, before the season when Nike signed with the NBA, I guess they named all their jerseys like, oh, they didn't call it home away. It was like, oh, this is the, whatever the hell, competitive jersey. This is the home hometown jersey. Like, they didn't have just home away off. No, they had freaking, I don't know. You know, some bullshit names. But Kobe designed, apparently Kobe designed the, New, so they dropped today all the like this new line of jerseys for everyone. I don't care about everyone. All I care about is Laker. The Laker one looks fucking savage. It's all black. And, you know, instead of this, this right here, instead of this being purple and the Nord being purple, so it's all black and the, all these outlines where this where this is purple, it's yellow. And then it's like hexagon in the in the back. Right here, it's just like stripes going down. It's hexagon, just like hexagon, hexagon, hexagon. It looks fucking savage, and it has Kobe's freaking signature at the bottom of the jersey. They fucked up, though. They had, instead of, I guess it's right here, instead of having this, so they had the Nike, instead of having the Nike one, they didn't put the Kobe one. They should have put the Kobe emblem right here. Kobe designed it. Kobe, you should have put your emblem right here on the Nike one, right? Wouldn't that make sense? I think, who is it? Uh... Uh, someone has what Jordan right here? I forgot. Obviously, don't listen to this podcast for any NBA facts or NBA news, but you know, I just like to rant a little bit. But yeah, that's what uh, Christmas games. It was all all great games, by the way. Even the the Laker uh, Timberwolves one. Freaking Jimmy Butler is savage too. Savage. Fucking Lakers they didn't have Bi. They didn't have freaking Lonzo. I guess Lonzo. When they were playing against Lonzo, Ba, Lonzo, Ba. Oh, who were they playing against when he got injured? It was freaking weird. So like his right arm got tangled up, but his like left arm, like I don't know, got dislocated or some shit like that. It was weird. Like you see him, like his right arm just like gets tugged, and then like as soon as they release his right arm, you're like, oh, it's probably his right shoulder. No, and then he goes down. It's like, oh, uh, he got wrecked. He got wrecked on his left shoulder. I don't know how that. It's kind of weird how that happened. But, yeah. He got injured. I forget it was against who. It wasn't the Warriors. Who was it against? God damn it. As soon as I hit record, my brain just goes... It's out. So, I'm trying to watch the game right now. Some random is just shooting on the court. What the hell? All right. So, yeah. All great games. Even the freaking Warriors and Cavs one. God damn it. I hate the Warriors. All right. Uh, so, besides the why I hate the Warriors, bandwagon. KD is a snake, obviously. And because the commentators, all the commentators, are, freak, they were commentators talking about Warriors during the Laker game. I was like, the fuck, bro? Talk about the goddamn Lakers. It's a fucking Laker game. Don't bring up the goddamn Warriors. The fuck? Man, I hate the Warriors. Mainly because KD and fucking, and the commentators, commentators are all like, oh, Warriors, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Warriors, oh my god, they're amazing. Oh my god, the Warriors are amazing. I'm like, fucking the Cavs are freaking keeping up with them, almost beating them. 
freaking Lakers kept up with them, almost almost beat them too, and then fucking no, they just have to praise the freaking Warriors. No, God forbid if you guys you guys freaking compliment the Lakers, you know, with Bi and Bi was injured, but uh, I just saw he was playing. He's been so he's been out with a quad injury, and Kuzma, dude, Kuzma. Dropped 31 points on Christmas, and he's a rookie. So the last time someone dropped that many, or no, he's he's second now for rookie for most points from a rookie. And LeBron James is the first one. Kuzma, get on the hype. You can't buy a Kuzma jersey. So you remember how I said they dropped the black ones? I forgot what they call the. God, I'm I could probably Facebook it. All right, I'll Facebook it right now. Since some, what the hell are they doing? Takis. So, um, uh, I guess you know the when you get like in a, a sack, potato sack. Oh, he's wearing a triple B hoodie. Triple B hoodie. Yeah, boy. He's a big baller. He's a big baller. What can I say? So, you know, the, the, the sack, the potato sack races, and then they you pretty much hop because you're in the sack. They have that, but with Takis. It's called the Fuego Challenge. All right, I gotta exit the stream real quick. And hit up the Lakers and somehow talk and keep you guys entertained. Entertain me. So, yeah. Um, I wish I was prepared or else I'd show you guys because I figured out how to show you guys stuff. But, nah. Nah, I'm going to let you guys struggle. I'm going to let you guys Google it. So, apparently, you can't buy a Kuzma jersey. Like, you, you can only buy B.I. jersey with I'm not mad. Lonzo Ball jersey, I'm not mad. And Randall, I'm not mad. But, but, I'm going to buy a Kuzma jersey, too. Like, come on. Give me a Kuzma jersey. What's this podcast sponsored by Lakers? Just kidding. That's not, that's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. So anyways, this is a horrible picture. What the hell? What what series? Lore series? Is it cut out? Is it really called Lore series? That was... It's for real called Lore series. Why not call it like the Kobe series? Okay, I think it's called City Edition. Oh, they added Kuzma! What the... Fuck. So, when I looked earlier, why is these 210? Oh, wait, what? All right, so when I looked earlier, they only had Lonzo Ball jersey, Ingram, and Julius Randle. Julius Randle's a savage, by the way. And now they added a new line, 220. Oh, Swingman and Authentic City Edition. I guess they're called City Editions. Everyone got them. Well, everyone got their own, you know, because I guess everyone gets their own design. Please note that this is a pre-order. And they're all pre-orders, by the way. You can't... Like, these come out in March. Bruh, I'm legit going to be older by then. Everyone who if, is going to be legit older by the time these things come out. But they look freaking savage. But they had a Cal Kuzma. And I don't think it's going to look good on, on, on the stream, but they look good in... in a, Focus. I'm focused, man. I'm focused, man. I'll figure out the output. Dude, just Google it. Just go to the freaking Facebook page of Los Angeles Lakers. It's not that hard. Take out your phone. Or if you're on your phone, wait till the video ends. No, no. Don't. Don't close it out. Don't. Don't. Don't close it out. But finally, when I looked early, that's all they had. And, you know, I'm like, oh, where's the Kuzma? And, and everyone's on the Kuzma hype right now. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna snap this, send it, send it to my friend because we we're talking about the Kuzma trick. God damn it! I always forget which one it is. Ever since they got rid of the goddamn home button, which I don't mind. Got that from I don't mind. But Kuzma. Hey, how about you keep talking? All right, fine. I'll send it later. All right. Anyways. I put the stream back on so I know what the hell is happening. Good thinking. Put the stream back on. All right. Always continue talking about the Lakers. So Kuzma dropped 31 points on Christmas. And don't ever forget, never, ever, 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 ever forget that the Warriors blew a 3-1 a lead. Don't ever forget Warriors blew a 3-1 lead. Don't ever forget. If you see a Warrior fan, the next time you see a Warrior fan, be like, hey, I know you guys won last year. I, 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 I know. I get that. Like, I understand that. Congratulations. Blah, blah, blah. You guys blew a 3-1 lead. Just, just let them know. 
just let him know. If you have the video of Kyrie making that three, you know, where we're like, to all the Warrior fans, then you play that for them too. Um, but yeah, never let them forget. Warriors blew a 3 1 lead. Anyways, from fuck to. Oh, OKC did great, dude. Okay, so OKC was. I like the Lakers, man. They didn't win at the beginning of the season. So I'm assuming it's halftime. Everyone's just shooting around. Kobe shoes. I'm going to plug in my phone so I won't die. Because I'm a. I'm my batteries are dead. Push into the edge. I'm my batteries are dead. I'm my batteries are dead. So OKC's been like the Lakers where they've been losing. And then lately they've been winning. I think that it's the chemistry. I mean, just because they, they brought in Carmelo and. PG, you know, yeah, just you got it's, it's chemistry. You got to work that chemistry, the chemistry together. And I'm hoping it, you know, I, I heard he's practicing now. Hopefully, it, you know, he has that chemistry with the Cleveland, and Cleveland just gets that much better. And I heard, I think Rose is practicing also, which I hope is true, because you got oh, man, they're gonna ooh, can't wait for the final. Can't wait for the finals, man. Freaking. Uh, I really hope Warriors blow another 3 1 lead. Or they get swept, I hope. But you know, wishful thinking, enough about NBA. <clears throat> Let's rant about pizza because everyone loves pizza, but ah, I don't like Pizza Hut. Do not like Pizza Hut. It's the crust. I, the, trust, the crust, it just doesn't taste like crust. It tasted like. I don't even know how to describe it. It tastes nasty. It tastes disgusting. Like it should be on Fear Factor. Fuck that it is just you know like Joe Rogan just there like oh right, Tanya you gotta you gotta eat these ten Pizza Hut crust right here you can tell and she's like oh, oh don't throw up on me don't throw up on me don't throw up you lose if you throw up that's a horrible impression of Joe Rogan I, I, I'll work on it I'll work on it don't worry I'll, I'll work on it I listen to this podcast I should have it dialed down dialed down I should have it dialed down but I don't wow I'm surprised all right anyways. Yeah, Pizza Hut. Round table is the shit. All right, round table and Little Caesars. Little Caesars is weird now because they're getting into a weird territory where we all know five dollars for for regular pizza, but now six dollars and you get more cheese, more pepperoni. Uh, right? Do I have that right? I don't know. Hey Siri. Uh, how much does Little Caesars pizza cost? restaurants fuck you too then siri fuck you too then put me back put, put me back to the stream put me back You're supposed to know everything siri maybe look dumb on the stream god damn it siri but yeah um pizza Hut's pretty good uh not not pizza Hut. little Caesar's pretty good fuck pizza hut uh pizza hut's nasty it's the crust man the crust i mean it, <sighs> maybe the stuffed crust Maybe stuffed crust is it's passable. It's passable just because it's stuffed. But the OG crust would ah, oh, dude, that shit's nasty. It's nasty. It's like if you were to tell me like a, like oh hey, go make a pizza. I probably from scratch. No, I I can't cheat. You know, I I can't go online. Can't Google. Can't ask Siri. Can't pull out a cookbook. I have to make it from scratch. Like, I can't read a recipe for how to make the dough. I have to make it everything, everything, everything from scratch. I'd probably make a better pizza than goddamn Pizza Hut. Fuck Pizza Hut. When it's at my house, I'm like, eh, yeah, I'm going to, like, Chipotle or something. Or I'm going to Five Guys. Fuck this. Round table, though. That's my shit right there. Round table. Domino's coming up. Domino's coming We've all seen the commercials, what, the last two years? The last two years where they were remodeling. They're like, hey, we heard you, blah, blah, blah. Their pizza's pretty good. It's a Better than Pizza Hut. Fuck, you can freaking drop Domino's in the middle of the street. Probably still tastes better than Pizza Hut. Um, well, I think those are the three big chains. I mean, we get at Mount Mike's, which is a pretty big chain. I'm, however, I'm not sure if it's a worldwide chain or I mean, or a whole nationwide chain. Papa Murphy's, Papa John's. I always get those two confused. One is which one? What, what, Papa Murphy's and Papa John's. Better pizza, better ingredients, Papa John. But aren't there's... Uh, I don't know. But those two, they're... Um, was it take, home, and bake, right? Something like that, right? Talk to me, camera. Talk to me. 
Siri is not talking to me. Siri doesn't know shit now, I guess. Doesn't know how much Little Caesars cost. Fucking Siri. I hate you, Siri. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Anyways, yeah, that was my little rant on pizza. I was just thinking about that. And Mod Pizza. I, so I try to... I try to go eat at Mod Pizza. For those of you that don't know, it's the same thing as Blaze Pizza or... Oh, God damn it. What's the other one? What's the other one name? Uh, uh, there's one more. Essentially, it's like a pizza about yay big. It's like six slices. It's, I want to say like what, a foot maybe? Like a foot long. And, and you decide... You decide... still have time. You decide... Like what ingredients you want on it. So it's pretty much like build. Think of a subway, but for pizza. Subway, but for pizza. You know, you just go down the line. Fuck Mod Pizza, man. They like opened up a new one down the street from my house. I try to go eat there. Restaurant is empty as fuck. It's like one person in front of me. I waited in the line for maybe like three, four, five minutes. They were still weren't done with the person in front of me. I'm like... Uh, there's no one here. There's n one person in front of me in line, and I still haven't even placed my order. I haven't even made interaction with anyone at this restaurant yet. So I turned around. So I'm like, fuck it. I want french fries. Try to go to Five Guys. Five Guys, the line was like halfway long, halfway to the door. And I was like, ah, fuck that bullish. I came to Chipotle. So I went to Chipotle. So yeah, fuck you, Mod Pizza. I'm never gonna try it. And I think underneath the underneath, so the sign outside says Mod Pizza, and underneath the little tagline it says uh, like fast food pizza or fast pizza. Something it has fast in the name of it. They're not fucking fast, all right. They're not fast. In fact, today I had Blaze Blaze Pizza. I think that's what it's called. So no one in line. For so for sure, I was gonna have human interaction. Still had to wait two minutes because I don't know. Everyone there was a guy over there just like with babysitting the pizzas in the oven. I was like waiting in line. There was a girl in the random room over there on the left, and I was just standing there for like two. I want to say two a good two minutes, just like there's Car Carl's Jr. next door. So I was gonna walk over there. That was my second option. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna give these bastards thirty more seconds. No one freaking helps me out because there's no one in line. I'm the only one here. Like, come on. Huck a brother up. But nope. It was alright. I like the crust. The crust was good. Um, toppings were alright. The cheese was alright. Uh, Little Caesars would have been better. And cheaper too. It was like 11 freaking bucks. I was like, what the fuck? Fuck this bullish. So yeah, that was my little rant on pizza. Mm-hmm. So, ooh, they're back. So, update on the game right now. Right now, I'm watching it. By the time you watch it, it's gonna be long gone. Lakers, fuck, they're losing right now, 48 to 54 against the Grizzlies. Who loses to the Grizzlies? Who is on the Grizzlies that you know of? Like, if I pull up my Switch and load up NBA 2K, and I go over to the Grizzlies, who's the person? Because they have a person on, you know, like when you switch. switch Go through teams, I guess, like the main person, you know, you got uh, freaking uh, Snake for for Golden for Golden State. You got LeBron James for Cleveland. I forgot who was Lakers. I think it was Brooke Lopez, but yeah. And I forgot who you got. I think you got Towns for uh, Milwaukee. You got Westbrook for KC. You know, so far, you know what I mean. But Grizzlies, who? who? Uh, exactly. Who? Uh, freaking no. Come on, Lakers. Get it together. They don't have Ball, though. Ball's still injured. B.I.'s back. Kuzma's back, though. It's the jerseys. It's the only way to explain it. It's the, the, the weird blue jerseys. All right. Anyways, what to talk about next? I got a list. I'm looking at it. I can't read. Damn it. Okay. I'm just fucking around. I can't read. Jesus Christ, guys. Shoes. Let's talk about shoes. Kobe shoes, Kobe. Oh, did you guys see? I, I read, saw this like two, three months ago, where Kobe was the most uh, um, had the most shoes. Oh no, it was LeBron. Well, LeBron had the most shoes in the NBA uh, for current players, followed by Kyrie. Yeah, but I'm not talking about that. Talking about shoes. It's a great time for shoes, by the way, because 
it was sort of a bad time there for a while just because we got nothing but retros and nothing else you know it was like oh retros okay and well, that was it fucking jordan retros but now adidas stepped up the game so now i'm on the adidas hype train got easy's right there pull them out one day and ah, next podcast i'll show you guys my shoes but yeah Oh, I just got some EQTs with Boost. Freaking soft as fuck, man. I love just walking in Boost, man. It's just so soft. Like, like you don't think of comfort when you buy Jordans, when you think buy Retros, but now the, with, with Adidas and with Ultra Boost, man, I think of comfort now. Like, whenever I wear Retros, I'm like, are they even comfortable now? No, they're not. Nope. No. When you wear Boost, it's like walking on clouds. Like, you have pillows strapped on your feet and just... Na, na, na. Anyways, yeah, great time for shoes right now because Adidas, Hype Train, they're releasing more Yeezys, which I like. I need to buy another pair. I want to buy the... Still, my my Holy Grails, I know it's... Everyone has their own Holy Grails. So, mine is the Pirate Black 350. 350s. But, today, uh, I guess they announced Dragon Ball Z is going to collab with Adidas. With Adidas... For seven shoes, seven Dragon Balls. Which shoes? I don't know. I don't know yet. I hope it's. I hope they get, have one like per. I hope they have a Yeezy one. I hope they have a NMD one. God, they better have an NMD one, an Ultra Boost one, an EQT one, and you know, I, I forget what else they have. Oh, they're probably gonna. They just released a new shoe. I, I kind of don't like it. It's all right. Yeah, that's right. Was it Profier? Pro, I don't even know how to say it. They like combine like two words, like proficiency and something else. Profiers or something, and some other random word because I can't pronounce it. But, but yeah, Dragon Ball Z and Adidas going to release seven shoes throughout 2018 for the seven Dragon Balls. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for what they look like. Yeah, so Adidas just freaking, they just been nailing it ever since they, they signed with Kanye. You know, there's freaking, so Adidas passed Jordan. I think this was like two months ago as well. Two, three months ago. I, I, I don't freaking know. Just Google it. But yeah, the Adidas passed Jordan for like most uh, sales. Don't, don't get me wrong. It, it still hasn't passed. It was like a Reebok and like some other shoe that I don't know of. And then it was like Jordan. And then it was Adidas. Like It was like passing them. I'm pretty sure it was like up here now. And then, but still Nike is like up here. You know, it'll take a while for Adidas. I, I, I'm pretty sure Adidas will catch up to Nike. Oh, for damn sure they'll, they're, they're going to catch up because they're they're comfortable. Because I even got the Dames, the ones without um, Boost. They have uh, Bounce. They have Bounce technology, and they're still they're free. To, they feel like slippers. Now the the Boost, from my experience, the Boost feel like clouds. Like so, I strap pillows on my feet. And the dames, which have the bounce technology, they felt like slippers. I'm not mad. Not mad at all. So, yeah, it's a great time for shoes. Looking forward to 2018. Looking forward to, oh, maybe new Yeezys. Kind of don't like the, it was like a three, the 350 design, but instead of the usual, they like raised up. It was like a mid high top. It was like a mid top. Uh, I could live without it. Kind of disappointed they didn't release the, like, it was like a burgundy uh, 350, burgundy color. It looked pretty dope. So, yeah, great time for shoes. Speaking of shoes, Apple finally admits that they slow down old phones. I freak, everyone assumed this. They're like, oh, yeah. But, I mean, we, no one had proof. They're like, oh, yeah, uh, Apple, you know, they slow down the old phones with the software, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, and I kind of felt, I kind of felt that. But I always gave Apple the benefit of the app. Motherfuckers! Motherfuckers! They admitted it. And, of course, as soon as they admit it, everyone's all like, Sue, 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 gonna sue, 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 gonna sue, 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 Apple. Because they got the money for it. Motherfuckers, man. I knew it. I knew it, but I was always in denial. I'm like, no, Apple would never do that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But, yeah. They admit to slowing down old phones. Their excuse, because I, I f actually read the damn article. I normally, d I normally don't read articles, right? I just see the headline. I'm like, all right, oh, that's cool. That's cool. I just freaking 
except for clickbait like clickbait is so freaking it just, just sticks out so much like oh donald trump blah 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 you know drinks 12 cans of diet coke i'm like i don't give a fuck blah 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 and then clickbait over here comes out like girl with third foot and then i'm like you're like wait what and then like it like catches your attention because it's just so fucking retarded Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, Apple. Fucking Apple, man. Just slowing down old phones. They're getting sued. But yeah, some... I should sue them too. But I got rid of my old phones. How does that work? How do you sue Apple? Like, like what What do you get? Like, what do you get money-wise? It's like, oh, you know, I had to buy the new phone because my old phone was being slow as shit. Because you slowed it down, you motherfuckers. So yeah, if you have an older phone, don't too late now, but don't update. <laughs> don't update to the new to the new OS. And it was motherfucking they make it so goddamn annoying for the updates where they, it, it pops up, takes up the whole screen, and you have to choose something. You have to choose even if you hit later, the fucking screen pops up. It's like you have to hit your passcode, blah blah blah, blah or you have to hit later at the bottom. And if you do that, it pops up the next day. And the next day, and the fucking next day until you update. Fucking Apple, man. Yeah, he's starting to piss me off a little bit. Just a little bit. It's like this much. I don't know if I talked about it last podcast, or the other two podcasts, but um, Samsung, uh, Samsung always tries to make fun of Apple. They're like, oh, you know, and then we're at, we're just at a point of cell phones where, honestly, like feature. Does anyone really care about features? Like I, so uh, at the beginning of the iPhone. We all remember the flip phone? Before iPhone, the trend was to try to make phones smaller. Small, 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 small as possible. You know, the Razer, super thin, just small. You know, that Razer hit it off with that. That's how everyone wanted it because that's where the trend was going, small. And then it became small, small, small. And then the iPhone came out and then every, everything needed to be like that. And then once the iPhone, the touchscreen was, was essentially dialed down because before it used to be the... Uh, some phones had had touchscreen, but it was a stupid touchscreen where you had to like it, it didn't go off the the touch of your fingertips. It went off the like the the I guess the firm touch on the screen, which is stupid. And then the iPhone had like the fur for me, it had the first on the cell phone like the smooth touch. So once everything everyone had that dialed down, which took about like two generations of phones, and then it went thin again, thin, 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 trying to make them smaller, thin. And then all of a sudden, Samsung, you know, with the tablets, you know, and then all all the phones, they all, you know, if you look at throughout the generations, they all had a different purpose, you know, or a different end goal. This one's to be the small. Oh, this year's iPhone slightly, like two millimeters smaller, blah blah blah, smaller, smaller, you know. And then oh, this phone has this feature, and then Samsung has always been about the quirks. Oh, it has NFC, it has all like. Which is fine. I mean, that's fine by me. I, I don't. I don't use NFC though. I don't use it. Well, Apple Pay. I get. I've used it like twice. I use it more online. I don't need NFC for that. Time out. So yeah, the new. So the new Samsung uh, trailer. Not trailer. New Samsung commercial. So they always try to make make fun of. Uh, of Apple, you know, like, oh, we had this first. Oh, oh, your phone's not waterproof. Blah, blah. So they, you know, they try to make it. And then I honestly, I like halfway, like half of the stuff, I'm like, uh, what are you trying to make fun of again? Like, I, I didn't get it, honestly. Like, I'm full honestly, I was like, uh, what? But it was freaking funny because, I mean, you know, the notch on, on the, can't show it because it's not, I wonder if I get a full screen. Full screen. It's not staying full screen. God damn it. Wait, 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 full screen. So you all know the notch, the famous notch right there. Oh, there goes the Laker girls. Like I said, it was a timeout. Or maybe it's the end of the quarter. I, don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I'm talking to you guys. Jesus Christ. So the notch, you know, eh, they, so, so get from, you know how we're going to go from thin? This is a, this is kind of a fat boy. Well, it's not fat, like, oh, like, like bulky, but it's for sure. Like, even when I saw it in the pictures, when they released, I'm like, oh, that's, bigger than the seven for sure for damn sure it is bigger but it's comfortable it's comfortable you know it's not like super super fat 
Laker girls. Fan of the game. Am I the fan of the game? I'm wearing this, this shirt. No? All right. I'll put you two then. Anyways. Like, what are they going to make fun of on the iPhone 10? What are they going to make fun of? It has wireless charging. You know, oh, they made fun of the wireless charging. Like, okay, it's got all that, like, all the features. Like, you guys are essentially helping each other out with, with, with all this stuff. And then Samsung's over here. And then, so they got, at the end, at the end of the commercial, the guy ends up with the gay ass Samsung. And then he's walking down the line uh, on an Apple store. And then, it, you know, oh, there's a long line. I haven't waited in line in like five, four or five years since iPhone 4. But yeah, so the guy's passing people waiting in line. There's a guy who, who looks like this. And then his haircut is the freaking notch. It's the notch. So like uh, imagine my hairline, like if it were to go down to like right here. So like hair like right here and then it'll go up. And then like a cut. Like they were trying to make fun of the notch. Like I... Like, what the fuck, man? Like, you're running out of things to make fun of Apple for. Like, come on. I'm pretty sure now they're going to make fun of the, like, sewing down the, the old phones. Oh, if they don't, they, if they don't, you know, it's a, they drop the ball. That's what they do, Samsung. I, I can't get used to the Android interface. I just can't. Just, uh, I, I mean, if you, I've used iPhone since iPhone 3G. iPhone 3G. Yeah, and the, I switched it back to red. Yeah, iPhone 3G. You know, it's just so hard to get used once you're used to uh, operating system. Even though it's gone, gone gone through some changes, they're all just visual changes, to be honest, and just certain settings just moving somewhere else. But the Android one is just so stupid to me. I, I, okay, I'm not getting into that. But anyways, yeah, that's what that is. Um, old news, but I, I so I'm, I, I don't know if I've if I've researched anything about it, I guess I'm ah, uh, god damn it. My ah, uh, my ah. Uh. Old news, Tesla, if you guys don't know, they, they showed off the car, they showed off the semi, they showed off the car, freaking, I forgot what it's called. The Roadster, Tesla Roadster, zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds. Jeez, the fastest production car in the world. My bad, my bad. I don't know if this is fake or not, this next part. Um. I was scrolling through my Twitter feed and someone showed a picture of, uh, someone said that like, oh my God, zero to 60, 1.9 seconds, blah, 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 blah. And then, and then, um, uh, Elon Musk replied to it. Yeah, that's the base model. I was all like, I'm done. I like, I closed Twitter. I'm like, I, I, I need to become a millionaire now. I need to become a millionaire so I can get the sports model. If there is a sports model, I hope there's a sport model. And even if there isn't, 0 to 60, 1.9 seconds, that's still the fastest car you can buy. Fastest car you can buy. All right, so we got shoes, we got ah, fucking apple, Jesus Christ. Speaking of food, going back to food, Taco Bell sells fries in Japan. I don't know if it's true or not. I haven't gone to Japan. I saw a picture of it. I saw a picture. It wasn't even about the fries, by the way. They, they just showed the Taco Bell. It was, it was more about the, the cheese. So the cheese over there, they cut the cheese into little stars. So it looked about yay big. Instead of having the, the, the shred, the normal shred, yellow cheese, the cheddar cheese, they had their cheese in star shapes. And it, but that's not what caught my eye. I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. And then like on top of the, the taco with the star-shaped cheese, all right, it was actually, uh, I haven't been to Taco Bell in a while. All right, I'm, I'm not a badass. Well, okay. I'll take that back. I haven't been to Taco Bell in a while because they're remodeling the one close to my work, so I can't have it for lunch. It's still remodeling. <sighs> it should open soon. I hope they open soon. But apparently they sell fries. Yeah, there was fries on top of this, ta this taco. Like, the post was about the, the cheese. They're like, oh, yeah, look, look they cut the, the cheese into little stars. Ha, 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 ha. No, like the, uh, the, the fries for me, it was the first thing. Was I uh, like, they have fries? Like, what the fuck? Like, I, I, I've that's why I don't go to talk about that often because they don't have fries. Like, I, I love fries. Like, I feel like fries should, is the natural side. Whenever I go to a restaurant, even if I have a steak, I, I switch the mashed potatoes out for fries because fries are, are delicious. But yeah, freaking Japan, always ahead, always ahead of us. America, talk about french fries, work on it. Please, pour flavor. Taco Bell. Taco Bell, if you want to sponsor this podcast, we have a big old Taco Bell right here. 
the, 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 the big old bell. Whatever happened to the Chihuahua? Did it die? Couldn't you guys just get a new one? You know what? Don't sponsor any of this podcast. Get a new Chihuahua. That's what you guys need. Get a Taco Bell. Yeah, Taco Bell. Alright. Our last segment of the day. This is a short podcast. Fuck, I should have came up with more topics. If I think of anything, I'll just ran off. You know me. You know me. Ah, uh, last topic of the day. Star Wars. Dun 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 So anyway, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um I didn't watch it when it came out. I barely watched it this last weekend, which is like the second week that that it's out, which is typically when I go because uh fuck that, it's freaking packed the first time. So anyways, before I get into Star Wars, so apparently the new, they remodeled the new theater close to my house. So we went to go check it out. And um, so the second time I went after the remodel, the first time I went, uh, I thought they just did the seats because now they have sofa seats where you they, they recline back. Uh, and they, But now they added, they added something called D-Box seats. And the seats move with the movie. It's fucking awesome. And they don't, they don't, they don't, at first I thought they just shook because that's what they did at the beginning. It just shook, all right. Like sort of like th- think of it like a chair, but it vibrates. All right. S- stop thinking bad, these sickos. God, fucking damn it. That's why we can't have nice things. But anyways, yeah, they move. All right. They they don't just vibrate. They it's like a. Have you ever gone to an amusement park and then they have the three D glasses and they sit you in the chair and it moves. It goes like left, right. So it's not. It's half of that. You don't. You're not like all the way like this and shit, but. You know, like this. You're like, uh, da, 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 da. that's right. It goes front, back, left, right, front. Dude, it's awesome. It's called D-Box seats, but they're like fucking 16 bucks a pop. Yeah, 16 bucks a pop. I was like, oh, shit. All right, like seven bucks more than what the normal price is, which is nine bucks. So, yeah, that's pretty dope. Kind of like that. We had, I had the popcorn in the middle, middle between the, our seats. And I've, I've, I'm like, oh, it's just going to move like front, back, uh. Ja ja ja, fuck ja ja ja. Anyways, um, it was there, and they started moving. I'm like, nope, uh, I'm gonna put, put this shit on the ground because it was like a thing. All of a sudden, the parking goes, it didn't spill. But pff. so, anyways, the reason I'm talking about these seats because, um, so when we walked in, I noticed there was someone at the entrance with a clipboard. I'm like, what the fuck, I've never seen this before. Just a guy just standing there with a clipboard. Um, I don't know what the fuck's he doing. Inventory, what the fuck? Him into the chairs, or is he trying to get my my autograph or something? I don't know. But anyways, yeah, he's just standing there like an older guy with a clipboard, uh, kind of like a resting bitch face. It was all like resting bitch face, you know. And uh, so we go to our seats, and, and I'm like, what, like, what's he? Is he gonna stay there the whole movie? This is like ten minutes in. Uh, we showed up there kind of early, so we showed up there early because uh, we showed up ten minutes before. Couldn't get a seat because it was sold out. The only thing left were the freaking the front row, the front row seats. Literally, the all the ones in the front where you had to be like this the whole movie, and then like if someone talks, you're like this. Someone else talks, you're like, oh my god, and I'm like, I, I didn't feel like breaking my neck. So um, the, fuck those seats. So we got the next showing, the next showing. So it was about an hour. So we just got popcorn, threw it at each other, freaking blew off like half an hour until they let us in. Then we went in. And sat down, that guy, and then that guy's been just, he stood there for the whole movie, by the way. So the whole time I was wondering, like, what the hell is he doing? Like, and then he was just, like, looking. He, at one point, he just walked across the theater and then came back to the to the entrance. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, he wasn't at the entrance entrance, but he was at the, so, you know, you walk in, there's a hallway, and then you turn right or left, and there's the stairs. So he was, uh, like, as you walk in, like, pretty much right there. Like, you could see him. He wasn't in the way of the, the alley, but he was on the other side of the alley. Like, you walk in, you turn right, and then there's that space. He's over here. You walk in, you turn right to go to your stairs, but he's over here. So he's not in the way. But, yeah, he's there with the clipboard. The whole time I was wondering, like, what is he for? I'm like, maybe he's there for, because um, it was packed. It was, it was uh, Christmas weekend, so it was packed. Uh, Jumanji sold out. 
So the Star Wars was sold out. We know it showed ten minutes before. Blah blah. So we had to get the, got the next one. Got the D box seats. The ladies all like, "You want to try D box?" Ha ha ha! And then the, the, the girls with she's all like, "Yeah, might as well." I'm like, Cause "You're paying for it." And then she paid for it. It was like sixteen bucks. She each ended up being thirty two bucks. I was like, "Fuck for seats? My bad. I'll get the popcorn." Shit, it's still gonna be like twenty something for the popcorn. But fuck me, thirty something bucks for the seats. Was it worth it? I, I think it was worth it. If, I think if you go to sleep for movies, like if you're a person who goes to sleep for movies and they like if or if you know you're tired and you think you're gonna go to sleep for a movie, get the D box seats because they'll wake you up because it was like the, the I was like, oh shit, I can't go to sleep in this seat. Or unless if you're that could go both ways though, because if you're moving left, front, right, back, then you know it could be like rocking you to sleep and then you're like, ah, oh, this is good. But no, it was like Chultz to like, I get, it's to immerse you in the, in the movie. With, I, I, I liked it. I'm not gonna lie. I like the D-Box seats. Maybe because I didn't pay for them. Uh, maybe that's why I liked them. No, because, uh, yeah. Let's go with that because I didn't pay for them. No, they were great. So going back to the guy. So I think he was a fire marshal. So I was, so I was talking, so me and the girl were like, um... Is he going to stay with the homie? Why is he here? Like, he has a clipboard, blah, blah, blah. You know, obviously, I'm not talking, like, hella loud. And then I'm like, I don't know why the hell he's here. Maybe he's here because the whole movies were packed. Maybe he was there for fire safety. Because if it's packed, even though I guess now they have, like, reserved seats, but they still have, like, general seating where you sit wherever. Maybe people were sitting in the aisles and he wanted to make sure for fire safety you can't, can't have that, this and that. So that's what my thinking was. Because everywhere else was packed. Once Star Wars was packed and then we went back to we're like, oh, did we wait an, did we want to wait an hour? And then like, oh, maybe we go see Jumanji. As we looked up, we're like, Jumanji starts in like 10 minutes? Yeah, sold out. It literally changes from like 7.15 to 7.15, sold out. And then we're like, I can't watch Jumanji. Uh, I'll watch your money another day. Um, but yeah, so I'm like, okay, so it's sold out, and then something else was sold out too, and then you know, Star Wars was was selling out, and then we're like, God damn! So that's that's where my thinking was. However, my thinking changed after I was um, so on these seats, even the ones that don't move left and right, the the refurbished ones, they're like lazy boys now, and they have those little buttons on the side like on the side like where the armrests are so you could uh recline the seat front back and the little thing so you could essentially be like laying down like ah uh, and take a nap so your feet were like up in the air i don't know what's that it's recline uh, the bottom piece the, you know like a lazy boy the bottom piece of where your feet like hit the bottom and then it goes so yeah, the button's on the side. It's on the inside. It's not on top. It's on the inside. So I go in the inside, blah, blah, and then I look over, and I notice that these things were sticking out uh, of the seat. And I'm like, what the hell is this? And then I'm like, I reach down and take them out. I'm like, oh, shit. I know what these are. I'm a f I had a childhood. I know. No. God damn it. The stream closed. All right. I guess I'll just see what... I'm not even looking at it anyways. I'll look at the score at the end. Uh... So I recognize them right away. I'm like, oh, motherfucker. So I like take it out a little bit. I'm like, yep. Bottle rockets. Fucking bottle rockets in the sea. So I'm assuming that guy's a fire marshal. And I'm assuming some freaking idiot before lit off a fire rocket. And the previous, because they were showing Star Wars in this before. Because uh, we were hearing the people go out. And they were playing the Star Wars credit. And then we heard the Star Wars music. So I'm assuming some freaking idiot lit off a freaking bottle rocket in the middle of this theater. That's what my think was. But I'm like, nah, they would have kicked everyone out. But then how do you prove that? Like, wait, what? Like I, like, I was so confused as to why there was two bottle rockets in the side of my seat. And then, like, that clicked. Like, something happened here with the bottle rockets. Either they lit it off in here or they lit it off outside, and then they saw the people coming here, but they couldn't pinpoint it. Because, I mean, how are you going to pinpoint it? Like, if someone goes, walks super fast into a theater, and then, they're, and then like, you're following them, you're obviously not going to run and cause a commotion. And then you open up the theater, you walk in, and then everyone's sitting down watching the movie. Like, who are you going to blame? Like, 
like you're like uh, uh 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 exactly right so that's what that's that's where my my thinking changed from like oh maybe he's just there for a second. like no i'm pretty sure these fire rockets he's looking for these goddamn bottle rockets so i'm like god fucking damn it fucking bottle rockets only only in this town only in this fucking town are there goddamn bottle rockets in the freaking theater seat so what do i do i fucking got the bottle rocket and i try to try to hit him with him try just try to be like i think you're looking for these and then just no i'm just fucking around i didn't do that shit so i got the bottle rockets and i just threw them behind the seat next to me <laughs> that's what i did I just threw them behind the seat next to me and then uh, everyone lived happily ever after what were we talking about star wars the last jedi yeah so that was my experience before the movie before the actual movie started <laughs> freaking bottle rockets on my seat that was pretty pretty funny though and then the other thing is um so remember uh, so they redesign the seats, they put a bunch of lazy boys in, they recline, and then some of them move, and they call it D-Box seats. So even the lazy boys, they're reserved seats. So when you pay for your tickets, they ask you, oh, where do you want to sit? And they show you a little map, like, oh, I want to sit on F3, I want to sit F6 and 7, I want to sit on B, I want to sit on A, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so no one could fucking read, apparently, in this goddamn town. Or, you know, they just like to cut seats. Because um, when we looked, the the seats next to us they were they were taken. <clears throat> excuse me, why? <clears throat> no, excuse me. Oh Lord, have mercy, my soul. So yeah, the seats were taken, and then the the previews were starting, and then there was no one sitting next to me. I was like, hey, weren't these seats taken? Like yeah, and then freaking. So two pairs of people come up. So there was like, uh, so we were in the sort of the middle. Like I was closest to the middle. The seat next to me was perfectly in the middle. So we were like off by two. But even if we got that middle seat, I mean, one of us had to choose middle. And come on, I'm a gentleman. But it's Star Wars. You know, come on. I, I got to take the middle seat. But I didn't. So there's like, oh, I forgot, like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's like nine seats in this row. It's two in our two on our left, us two, middle, and then like two, two. So there was no one next to me, and then there was like two, two over there. And those seats were taken. The only open one was the one on my right. And then two pairs of people come up. Two pairs of people come up and then they're um and they walk through the aisle, they're like, Are these our seats? Oh, it's Gibbs. It goes from like eight. It goes from eight to seven. Like, oh my God, where are our seats? Like, I don't know, our seats. Like, they couldn't find their seats. Turns out their seats are freaking right next to us, and the people who were sitting there, they're being douchebags, and or or they're dyslexic. They can't freaking see the the car, and they were sitting in their seats. But these people didn't want to kick them out. And so, so, so they went to the front, and then another pair comes up, and then they're like, "Oh, the same fucking thing." They're like, "I don't, I don't where's our seats? Oh, we're on F." And I'm like, "Bro, there's only like one seat available on this shit." So they go back to the front, and finally someone comes in from who works on the theater, and they kicks out those people. So yeah, that was my experience on that. Going back to the Last Jedi for the third time in a row, the Last Jedi. So before watching the movie. <laughs> hmm? My nephew wasn't here earlier. He took his infrareds. I just noticed. All right. Anyways, there's like a whole stack of boxes of shoes over here. Half of them have shoes. Half of them are just empty. They're just there for decorations. And the infrared box is open. So those are his, by the way. I mean, we had the same size shoe. So he jacks my pairs of shoes and he leaves them and I don't wear his shoes because like, like I told you, I'm, he, he's still on the retro retro phase. I'm on the Adidas phase. So, yeah. Eh. But yeah, he took his infrareds. I don't know which ones, the the red or the, the white or the black ones. The black ones. I don't think he likes the white ones. I think he's, he was going to sell the white ones. Get back to The Last Jedi. Okay, fine. Jesus Christ. So before watching The Last Jedi, um, online I saw... Either a lot of hate or a lot of love for The Last Jedi, Star Wars. Like hardly, very few people in between. Very few people in between. You either hated this movie or you loved this movie. I'm in between. 
I mean, I'm in between. I mean, I, I liked it. I kind of wish I did not see that. I'm like, why does everyone hate this movie? And what, or and why does everyone hate, love this movie? Like, what the fuck? Like, I wish I would have just watched it first day and not seen anything. And then I probably would have loved it. But I went in it with, like, a skeptical mind. Like, hmm, all right, I need to find out why. So, but for the most part, I loved it. I just didn't like the end. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert? Should I get into it? Should I not get into it? All right, so why I loved it. Visually, I mean, it, it's amazing. Visually, it's amazing with the seats, the D-Box seats, you know, moving back and forth. All right, it was pretty fun. Um, I just didn't like it at the end because I, I don't think how they handled everything at the end. You know, I was like, yeah. And some parts seem to drag on. Oh, God damn it. But let me tell you, Kylo Ren is a big boy. He's fucking thick. So, I'm pretty skinny. All right. Everyone tells me I'm skinny. All right, I'm pretty skinny. Um, like, this this way-wise, like, width-wise. That freaking Kylo Ren is, like, two of me. Like, freaking... But he's not fat. He has a freaking, like, he's fucking shredded. He's buff. As, he's buff. Boy lifts. But the boy is fucking thick. There's a scene there. I pull it up, but I haven't found, like, a high-risk scene of it. I've just seen, like, someone, like, picture. Like... So just seeing like this, like that quality, like a, someone took a picture of like a phone or like of a screen. Oh, that's Larry Nance Jr. dunking on KD, by the way. That's my, that's my lock screen. Dunking on KD. But yeah, that boy's thick. That boy has like a freaking A-pack. He's fucking shredded. He can probably kick my ass. Like hands fucking down, he could kick my ass. He's fucking, he, he's buff. He's buff ass. Fuck! It's fucking weird though. He had fucking. He looked hella weird. When it first popped up, I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? It was so surreal because he has like granny pants on where they come up to like his belly button. He has like freaking uh, that, that whole look where it's like. But he had no shirt on. He was just like the black pants that just went up to like his. They only showed like his top four abs. Instead of like his bottom two abs. And it's just like, that was so weird. Like wearing granny pants. It was so freaking weird. And it's just so weird how wide he is. Like, like god damn, Kyle Rand's a big fucking boy. Who could probably kick everyone's ass. Like, that, like if this whole Star Wars thing doesn't work out, he could be in the UFC. But boy's a big boy. God damn. Uh, what's your name, Ray? Ray's still the same, you know. She aight. Ray's aight. Uh, Finn. Some girl falls in love with Finn. Spoiler alert. Some girl falls in love with Finn. Um, no, she doesn't die. Speaking of dying, I'm not going to get into who dies, who doesn't die in the movie. Because if you haven't seen it, then... But um, I'm, I'm in between. I'm one of the few that are in between. Because I love the movie. But I didn't love the whole movie. I felt like some parts just dragged on. However, I had some, a lot of fun. I, I had a lot of fun watching it. However, some parts there was all like, ah, like, come on. Like, does this really, like, you guys can either speed this up or leave it out. Speed it up, leave it out, or doing it so, a little bit differently. Mm -mm. But yeah, but, um, uh, it wasn't typical where it was, you know, the storyline and you could foresee like, oh, this is uh, this is what's going to happen next. Because I, I caught myself like, oh, this is what's going to happen next. Oh, okay, it didn't turn out that way. So is it going to work out like this? Or it was like, oh, okay, this, oh, that happened? All right, well, fuck it. They had that, that element to it, which I always like in a movie. I, I, you know, I, I even like it when I guess it right. I'm like, oh, this is going to happen. Oh, I fucking told you, told you, told you, but no. Yeah, I think I did it like once or twice in the movie. But, you know. Anyways. Yeah, Star Wars, NBA games. Fucking Apple. Fucking sewing down my old cars. Tesla. Goddamn. Kind of want a Tesla now. Kind of want a Tesla. No one want to trade for Subarus? I'm just fucking around. But I do want a Tesla. I want to keep my car up. You know, Teslas are dope. And I like, I like how the, the whole middle screen. Middle is a screen. You know, that's, that's pretty dope. It, um, however, uh, how would it work if you were to do a, a long road trip? Because I don't know how, how many miles you get before you have to recharge. 
Or, you know, get, I mean, you could just put gas in a regular car. And I know, and I, I know the pop, uh, charging stations, you know, they're popping up, you know, quite more frequently, which, um, I ain't mad. I ain't mad. I'm just mad that I don't have a Tesla. But, you know, Tesla, if you want to sponsor this podcast, I'm going to get a Tesla. I'll get a Tesla. This part right here, free. for Not free, but advertisers, you know, right here. Right here. I'm going to start getting tattoos with advertisers. Their logos on my body. Tesla. Or Tesla, I'll get uh, donate. Tesla sponsors gives me a card for put a big ass Tesla logo on my back. On my back. From the top to my ass crack. On my back. All day. Every day. But yeah, it's the end of the podcast. Do another one next week. Come up with more topics. <sighs> Hopefully no one cuts me off. It's next week. I hate people. I hate people. God damn it. I hate people who don't know how to drive. All right. So that's it. Yeah, but.